Hello, welcome to PC Jack. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Display Driver and Installer. Let's go. So, the reason you may actually decide to use uh, DDU or Display Driver and Installer may be uh, there's a couple of things. Either you're uh, perhaps swapping out for a new graphics card and uh, just want to have a nice clean start for when you install the driver so there's no incompatibility, or there could be that you've uh, downloaded a driver and it's uh, causing issues for your system. So, uh, the best way to remove it would be to use DDU. So, where I usually get DDU from is from uh, guru3d.com. I'll uh, include a link for this, but uh, always make sure to download the uh, the latest one. And uh, I've already got this downloaded now. Once it's downloaded, you'll uh, find that you'll need to extract the file in order to access the uninstaller. And then once it's uh, extracted, I like to keep it on the desktop because it's a bit easier to locate. What we will need to do is to uh, do this in save mode. It's uh, usually best practice for when you're doing anything to do with uh, driver and installation. It just makes things a little easier. The other thing I like to do is to ensure that I've got the driver I want to install already downloaded, ready to go. And uh, I'll do the same thing. I'll keep this on my desktop. So I've got the latest NVIDIA driver. I'll just keep that there ready. And uh, the one thing you will want to do is uh, make sure you're disconnected from the internet during this process because once you've done the TDU uninstall through uh, safe mode, once you boot back into Windows desktop, Windows will try to automatically download the, uh, the driver for you and uh, in this instance you wouldn't want them to, obviously you'd want to install your own driver. So uh, if you've got uh, an Ethernet jack plugged in, you want to make sure that's unplugged. If you're on Wi-Fi, just make sure that's disabled as well then. So now that we're ready to go, we'll, uh, what we'll do, we'll get into safe mode now. And the best way to do this is to hold shift, go to your power options, and restart while holding shift. There we go. And what's this done? It's uh, just giving us uh, a prompt for uh, our startup settings. So uh, what we'll want to do is go to troubleshoot. Advanced settings, and then we'll go for startup settings. Here we go, and then it'll give you the options that you can use when you uh, start up. So, obviously, we're going to be going to use safe mode. So, uh, to click restart, there we go. We got a nice uh, low res image now once we're trying to get into startup options. So, we've got these options we can enable here. The one we're going to want to go for is enable safe mode. We don't need enable safe mode with networking, we can leave that, so we can just go for option 4. And that will bring us into the safe mode. There we go. And then just enter your usual pin for Windows 10. Right, so as you can see, we've got a very uh, low res image at the moment now that we're in safe mode. But we've got our DDU folder over here, so we can go into here. And then click on display driver uninstaller executable. There we go. And now it's brought up this screen. Now uh, it will bring up a warning just in case it's your first time to uh, use DDU, but uh, go through that, that's fine. So what we need to do is to uh, select what we have installed. So if we go to a device type, we've got, for this instance, we're using, uh, trying to get rid of GPU drivers, so we can select GPU. There we go. It's actually auto detected that we're using an NVIDIA graphics card. Obviously, if you had a different card, you may have to select it on there. So we've got Video GPU selected on there. And we've got these three options over here. Now, what I am going to be doing is uh, I'm actually going to be swapping out this uh, 710, GT 710, for a different graphics card. So in my instance, I'll be doing clean and shut down. But obviously if you weren't actually changing out your graphics card, you could just go for clean and restart. And then obviously that would remove the drivers and allow you to go back into Windows as normal and reinstall them yourself. But obviously for this instance, we're just going to go clean and shut down and let it do its thing. This may take some time, so uh, just be patient. And there we have it, it's just finished and it's going to shut down and uh, we can now uh, change out the graphics card and install the drivers fresh. And that's how to use Display Driver and Installer. If you found this video useful, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.